Hey YouTube, so I thought I would do a quick video on some red hair maintenance because I've had it for a while now and I thought I would just show you what works for me and maybe you could incorporate them or maybe it'll help give you tips. I don't know. I'm just going to do it so you can just see. And, um, you know, you'll hear this a million times if you want to have red hair. It's a lot of care. Blah, blah, blah. You've heard it six billion times. But you know what? If you actually want the color and you want to work to get the color, you're not going to mind the little extra work you're going to need to do. So at least that's how I feel like. I don't mind it. It's not like something that I'm like every day like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do about my color? I, I, I just, I do it and it's like, ah, oh, no big deal. It's pretty. I like it. So anyways, uh, if you want to have red hair, the first thing first, uh, you want a good shampoo and conditioner. And I'm talking like you want a good color care shampoo and conditioner. Um, personally, my all-time favorite is Redken's color care. It's the one in the red bottle. I love Redken. But I bought these to try their color depositing ones. And I do really like them. Like, I'd buy them again. But I just, I don't know. For some reason, my heart is just like with Redken. However, Redken isn't the color depositing ones. And these are. And uh, you can make your own color depositing shampoo, though. You just need, like, a semi-permanent color, uh, like a Manic Panic or a Special Effects, something of that sort. And you can mix, like, I don't know. I would probably do, like, if I had Redken in that, I would either mix it with, like, my conditioner, maybe, like, one part. Maybe, like, one part dye, four parts, or three, four parts conditioner. I don't know. Just enough to kind of make it a reddish color. Um, or you could just have the dye sitting in your shower and then just kind of mix it and the conditioner in your hand and put it on your hair and call it a day. You could do that. You don't even have to pre-mix it. But anyways, though, now that we have that out of the way, this is what I've been using that has worked really well that I really like on my hair. Um, like I said, though, whenever I run out, I will probably go back to Redken because I do. I don't know why. I'm just, I really like Redken. But I do like this. It is by Goldwell. It is Color Glow Deep Reflect Shampoo and conditioner and one thing I like about this is I believe this line was made for red for red hair maybe not this but the conditioner you pick out the color that you want and so I picked out cool red in the conditioner uh, the shampoo is it's just got kind of a, a pinky tint to it it doesn't really have much of a color the conditioner though that's where the color is at and I'll show you what it's got. I don't know if you can see, but I should have washed this before I just took it out of the shower and showed you, but oh well. That's the color that it is. It's a really deep red. So, um, that's what I use is the, like I said, the color glow. This, the only downside to this is this is the stuff that you have to buy at like a salon or one of those like salon supply stores where you have to have a license to get in. Luckily though, I have a friend that has a license and she takes me and we go buy hair supplies. So, you want definitely a good color care shampoo and conditioner because if you don't get at least a good color care one, um, even if it doesn't have the depositing in it, your hair is going to fade like, oh my god. Uh, another thing with red hair is you don't want to wash it every day because it does fade so fast. So just to kind of avoid fading, you want to try to, I, if I could go more days without washing my hair, I would, but I can't. My hair is so oily, and I've tried different things to try to cut back on it, but it just, it never works. My hair is just so naturally oily. My mom said she had the same problem when she was my age. I think it's just genetic. Um, I can't go more than one day without washing my hair. Like, I'll, I washed it this morning, so tomorrow morning, I'll get up and I get, I'll get a shower, but I won't wash my hair, and then I will wash it again on tomorrow, Saturday, so Sunday. I'll wash it on Sunday, and then I won't wash it again on Monday. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I do. And in between, my favorite thing that has helped me is I use the Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. And I have to say, I was using Tresemme for a while, but with the Tresemme, I felt like my hair didn't look greasy, but it still had that, you know, that weighted down, greasy feeling your hair can get whenever it gets real oily? It felt like that. Even though it wasn't, it didn't look like that, that's how it felt. This stuff doesn't make my hair feel like that. And that's one thing I love about this. So this is my new favorite. It's the Rockaholic, like I said, Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. And so I will do this tomorrow and then the next day I'll wash my hair, if that makes sense, what I'm saying. I go every other day. If you can go more than that, more power to you. Dude, your hair color is going to last forever. Uh, mine just is not because <laughs> freaking hormones or whatever causes oily hair. I don't even know. I just don't like it. So anyways... 
there's that. And then in between coloring to kind of refresh the color, mainly these parts because this was a uh, bleach blonde. I used to have black hair with blonde streaks in it. Um, so that's why it's like crazy red in certain parts. Can you see that? If I had better lighting, you could really see it. Can you hear that panting? That's just goose. He's crashed every video I've tried to make so, make so far. So here he is crashing this one. What's up, goose? I'm dog sitting and they have three golden retrievers. They're badass dogs. They're really cool. But, uh, I have a chocolate lab, but she is at home hanging out with my parents. Goose, can you get out of the screen so I can finish? I'm almost done, I promise. Let me go to bed. Come on. Over here. Oh my gosh. So anyways, though, I do... Ah! <laughs> Goose, come on, dude. He thinks he's a lap dog. Come over here, bud. But he's not. He's a very big lap dog. Okay, good job. Now he's gonna run away and run back. You wanna see him? He's cute. Look how cute he is! Ah! Anyways, now that Goose made his appearance. He's cra- I'm not kidding. I've tried to film this video like five times and Goose has crashed it every time. And I was just like, you know what? Goose comes in. Goose is part of the video now. So I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so in between colorings to kind of refresh it, I use, um, I've been using Manic Panic and Rock and Roll Red, and I do have to tell you, I liked it because it wasn't as much of a mess, but it didn't last. Like, every week I was putting it on my hair, once a week. I was putting it on mainly these parts, but I found something I am in love with. It's my new favorite, and it is Special Effects in Devilish, and I just, what I do is I, I pull, like, the top part of my hair up, like, the parts that don't have the crazy blonde and I'll pull up as much as I I keep saying blonde because it used to be blonde but now it's red the crazy red I'll pull up that and then I will put this on and then just when it kind of runs out it makes it kind of refreshes my whole head and I just I love it so anyways this is my new favorite it's special effects and devilish it is so much more concentrated than manic panic though so um beware of staining your bathtub because uh <laughs> I just scrub a lot to get this out of my bathtub. Whereas Manic Panic, it's like right down the drain. It doesn't even care. This, I noticed. Um, but however, I did notice this. I've already washed this once. And it doesn't even look different. Like Manic Panic, I washed it once. And it was already getting kind of an orangey thing. So, I do have to say, Manic Panic, if I'm in a pinch, I would definitely go back to the Manic Panic Rock and Roll Red. However, my all-time favorite right now is Devilish by Special Effects. So, there's that. Uh, so that's pretty much what I do. Just in between coloring, I refresh it with the semi-permanent color. I use a color depositing shampoo and conditioner. And I use a dry shampoo on the days that I'm not washing my hair. Um, I will do a quick little, little tip for you. If you're going to refresh your hair with a semi-permanent, or even when you're dyeing your hair, use petroleum jelly. And I know you're like, what? That sounds so dirty. <laughs> but, uh, or, you know, just Vaseline, because that's the same thing. Um... Because it, you're gonna, it, it will stain your face. I'm not kidding. And, do you hear that? They have this terrifying clock in here that randomly goes off and I don't like it. It's just terrifying. So anyways though, this though, I love this because I got it at the dollar store for a dollar. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have to pay the Vaseline price at Walmart. But uh, I got it because it's cocoa butter scent. And they also had like a, a powder scent or something else. But, uh, it doesn't really smell that fantastic. It kind of smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. I don't know if you've ever smelled a Cabbage Patch doll or if you know what I'm even talking about. I just feel like they have this distinct smell. It's kind of what it smells like. But I got it because it said cocoa butter. Anyways, you just take petroleum jelly or Vaseline or whatever and all your friends are going to think you're dirty because you have it in your bathroom. But we all know you're just using it to color your hair. Um, and then you just put it, like, I just put it, like, on my hairline, like, here. And then I will take, like, kind of a lot of it in my hands and rub them together, and I will rub it on my neck. Because, uh, yeah, it'll stain. So that's just a little tip. Uh, petroleum jelly is probably a must for your red hair care. And, um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm still working on getting this part a little more red. Um, right now it's kind of like a, it was a real deep burgundy, now it's kind of lightened to more of like a reddish brown, I don't know. One day, young grasshopper. But I recently bought this, and I'm really excited to see what it does. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit because my roots still haven't grown out that much. Once it's time for me to color my hair, and I'll be using this. But I went ahead and order ordered it, so I had it. Um, and it's the Alpha Parf Evolution of the Color Contrasty in Red. 
and then it has every language of red on it. So I'm really excited because I'm going to try this and I'm going to see how it does on my hair and I will do a review. And uh, if you'd like to see a tutorial of me dyeing my hair, I can do it. Um, I I'm not a professional, so it's just going to be kind of winging it and like, oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Um, I've heard good things. I've read good reviews about it. Look at this. He's like sneaking in. Goose. What are you doing, bud? Look at him. What's up, dude? Huh? Here, sit. Can you sit? He's like, no, Melissa. Anyways. Here. Goose can tell you how he keeps his hair so red. Goose, how do you keep your hair so red? He's like, oh, I'm just not going to talk about it right now. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing this. And I will let you know how this works. Uh, if you want to see videos on that, you just let me know what you want to see. Because uh, I'm running out of ideas. I am. I tried vlogging and then I was like, I have nothing interesting to talk about. My life is boring. I don't really do a lot. School, work, and uh, did I mention school and work? It's kind of what I'm doing right now. So anyways, though, uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see. If you have any questions, let me know. You could subscribe. I want to say it's like right here. You could uh, like, leave a comment, subscribe, like, I don't know. Let's be friends. Ah. <sighs> That was really sad. Let's be friends. <laughs> Alrighty, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. I'll see you later.